going out on a date can feel very vulnerable. I totally know that the fears can come up, the questions, the chatter in the head can be really loud when we're putting ourselves out there. And if you're like me, we just want to be seen and heard and be understood for who we are. So that's why I wanted to talk about conscious, authentic dating today, what it is, what it isn't, and give you some awareness on how you can navigate this in a way that's going to give you the best results. And this doesn't mean that every time you go on a date, this person's going to be the perfect person, but it's going to give you a sense of how you can bring consciousness, bring intention and bring this, uh, the authentic you to an experience. I wanted to bring this up because sometimes when I hear people talking about dating and wanting to meet a person that gets them and all the things that we truly desire in a relationship to be adored for who we are, that sometimes I hear people talk about, well, yeah, I'm just going to show up, you know, if they don't like me the way I am, then, you know, it's their problem. And that kind of tone and mindset is not what we're talking about here. Because ultimately, when we are talking about dating, I think about this as we are on a search or out there open to receiving a relationship that is a really special thing. I mean, a a beloved relationship, a romantic partnership, this is that sacred space in your life that is that person that is by your side. For me, I thought of it as this person where we are doing life together, where we're mutually supportive of each other, where we're helping each other out and celebrating each other and sharing dreams. It's not a small role in your life. So it's really a lovely, beautiful thing to bring our heart and our consciousness to this. And what that looks like is you know, being aware of what it is you truly want. So let's just jump into some of the tips that I want to share with you today, because these tips will naturally reveal what authentic conscious dating is and what it isn't. So when you think about dating, it is, okay, I have this vision of love. I have this idea about what it is that I would want to create the lifestyle I want to have with someone, that is the a very important part of this. So if you have not done that, if you have not gotten clear with what it is that matters to you and looked at your own values and used those values as a way to discover who would be a good fit for you in your life, then I highly recommend doing that because that is part of this conscious, authentic dating. When you're getting to know people, oftentimes these days, you may be chatting online, getting to know someone or looking at profiles, or you know maybe you're at an event for singles and you're learning about someone before you go on a date, then you're you're actually doing some of the due diligence kind of work to see where you connect. So that's what I would say even before getting on a date. This conversation to me is about how you show up on a date and be a conscious dater in the, the process. So once you know who you are, then... I invite you to look at the dates as really special time. For me, I remember in my last round of dating before I met my husband, Larry, 
I did have this different way of looking at the dating process. And one of the things that I like to remind myself of is anytime I'm meeting someone and going on a first date, this may be like the first page of my love story. So I loved adding that magic to it, not in a way that, you know, then I'm like, oh, I keep getting disappointed. I keep thinking it's my love story and it's not, but just bringing reverence to it. You, oftentimes, you know, you probably are pretty excited for a first date if you've been talking already. If you're not excited at all, I'm not sure why you would be going on a date, but I would think that there would be some level of curiosity and wonder occurring that is inspiring a date. So give it that. Be willing to bring your heart to it. To me, the earnestness and the reverence and the kindness and the, the openness that we bring to a date is opening up the space for possibility. And if we're kind of thinking, well, well, they better just like me as I am, and maybe we're not getting dressed in a way that makes us feel good or 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 makes us look our best, then that's not really approaching the bigger picture of relationship with the kindness and the care and the love that you're probably wanting to have in a relationship. So any of the actions along the way are just a slice of the bigger picture of what it is you're creating or a reflection of that. So the consciousness you bring to the process is ultimately what you create. So if you're creating a like, whatever, they better like me as I am, then I'm guessing that that's not the tone of the relationship you're wanting to create. So don't do it on a first date. So bringing that kindness and reverence to it. The other thing is, you know, throwing away all of these external kind of rules. When we're a being who is on the path, if you're in this community, Love Vibe TV, super loved, maybe you're in my program or, um, or about to join, then, you know, you've probably heard me talk about having a no rules dating strategy. And the reason why I say that is because you are the source. You are the chooser. You are the only one that knows what is most magical for you. And you plus another person has its own energy and own dynamic. So if we're layering on all of these rules, well, I have to do this or I can't do that, or this is the way it has to be, then we're basically taking ourselves out of the equation. And to me, the consciousness of this is being willing to be present, being willing to notice what's inspiring, noticing what you're drawn to with this person, or being aware of what curiosity is popping and give yourself that rather than coming in with this backpack of rules and external projections and expectations and things that aren't even yours that then don't allow you to be you. So I'm inviting you to be you and what an honor what's fun and works for you from that place of security. So the only thing that changes that is if you throw a bunch of fear in there. If you throw a bunch of fear in there, then it's like it can turn into this like desperate energy or this neediness or this clinginess. Like, well, what works for me is like, you know, you better like me, you better like me, you better like me. It's not really that at all. So, you know, being able to do any of the work, so this is key, doing any of the inner work required so that you're coming into dating from a secure place of knowing who you are, not 
you know, responding out of fear, or at least being able to notice when that's occurring so that you can remind yourself, no matter what, I'm going to be okay. And that's a good thing to remember that no matter what you are okay, like you're going to be okay. I know that's kind of hard to understand, especially in these times. It's like, yeah, but Macy, there's like scammers and and criminals and losers and like all of these things out there. And you're creating your reality. And if you live in a reality where you are the most powerful being and you're giving yourself that, then you can't ever, re- you can't be hurt. You can't be taken down. You can't be killed. You're infinite, beautiful you is the most powerful thing. So honor that. Honor that. I know that that's going to probably stir up a lot of things and maybe create a bunch of comments, but that's okay. Because what I know is that our point of view is creating a reality. And when we are creating our own space of this is what I'm creating, I'm creating my life that I am the most dominant, the most powerful being, and that I am safe being me. I am safe being in this situation. I am safe trusting my intuition and guidance. I know then you are that. So whatever you say you are, you are. Whatever you say you are, you are. So choose to be that. And then If that's a challenge, if you struggle to create your life, if you find you're on an emotional roller coaster or that relationship stuff is frustrating or hard, then I recommend let's have a session. Let's let's talk about what would be helpful for you. I can help you with coaching and doing the deeper work. Oftentimes the relationship stuff comes from very early days in our life. And it's all a reflection of how we've decided that point of view, what we've decided about life, what we've decided about relationships, what we've decided about men or women. And that's what keeps repeating over and over again. That's why, you know, when you are basically setting your inner world to match what it is you want to create, which can take some practice then that's, that's, that's the, that's basically the work, the practice is, and it's not, it's not necessarily easy. I won't, I won't lie. Like being able to practice being in confidence in your awareness, in your power to be the most amazing creator of your life takes some practice. And it's easy to get swayed by doubt. It's easy to get swayed by fear. It's easy to buy into old stories if we don't have the savvy and skills to stay on course. So in Super Loved, it's really about becoming that super loved woman, that kind of woman that knows what she wants, and knows how to create it and has done the inner work that has, you know, basically rewritten the scripts so that we're not in, not functioning from a fear-based model. Like we're not going, we're not fighting against, oh my God, I better not get hurt again, or this is what always happens to me, or fear or doubt or all of that kind of stuff that actually is what makes it hard to have, you know, to receive that super unicorn love relationship that may be in your heart. So um, if you're ready to up level your relationship space in your life, then I recommend reaching out to me. You can click below in the comments and find a lot of different resources that are, are here for you. So Let's just go over it really quick. I mean, basically, when you're authentically dating, 
it's bringing a kindness. It's knowing who you are. It's um, actually bringing some care and reverence to the experience, knowing that you're opening up space for this very special relationship in your life and not buying into a bunch of rules that aren't going to serve you because they're not you. So I'm excited for what this can create when you know this. I'm telling you, my whole life changed when I dated in this way. And, you know, I went from seeing the kind of people that I was like, why are, why am I attracting these people to, wow, these are amazing men. I'm very inspired by the people I'm attracting. And then soon after that, I met my husband, Larry, and you can have that too. So I can't wait to meet you. And thanks for being here. If you liked this, like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing from you. And do share this with any of your friends who are asking to create more in their life. Thank you so much. I am so grateful for you. Bye.